Flowisdom Present, Who Moved My Cheese by Spencer Johnson. Book Summary. Who Moved My Cheese? Introduction. Nothing is permanent in life. Change is the only constant and is bound to happen in every field at some point in your life. The only difference is how well are you able to adapt to these changes. This book by Spencer Johnson is one of the best books about change and how you can forecast, to some extent, and adapt to these changes. What will you do if you lose your job all of a sudden? What will you do if you face financial and other issues in your business? What will you do if your girlfriend or wife no longer wants to stay with you? These changes won't happen abruptly in life, and it will be a gradual process most of the time, though. But we fail to notice the small changes and get depressed when the small changes accumulate to the devastating big change which divides our life into two phases. One before the incident and one after the incident. This story has four characters living in a maze full of similar rooms and corridors, out of which you will surely relate with one. Cheese represents our desires in life. It can be anything ranging from stable job slash successful business slash loving family slash good health slash peace of mind or combination of multiple items or all items. You can relate yourself with the characters in the maze and you will learn valuable lessons from their adventures as the story progresses. Characters A long time ago, in a distant land, there lived four characters in a maze. Two rats, Sniff and Scurry, and two little people of similar height, Hem and Haw. Sniff and Scurry were simple rats with good behavior. Like rats, they used to search, sniff, and look out for food. Hem and Haw were humans with complex brains. Their decisions were affected by beliefs and emotions. But Chi E S E was important for all the four characters as it gave them the happiness of equal magnitude. The Chi Station Every morning all of them wore their running shoes and came out of their holes. They started searching for cheese in the maze which had innumerable twists and turns with a large number of rooms and chambers. Some of the chambers were filled with cheese and some were so dark and empty that a person could get lost in the maze. There were secret chambers too in the maze which, if found, could fill their life with happiness and prosperity. Sniff and Scurry used the trial and error method as their brains were simple. They simply entered the chamber and looked around. If the chamber was empty, they left the chamber and started searching for a room with cheese. But Hem and Haw, having complex brains, complicated the process and their decisions were often overpowered by beliefs and emotions. As a result, the task of finding cheese became challenging and complex. Cheese Station was a place filled with multiple flavors of cheese. It was like a paradise for cheese lovers. While searching for cheese, they found the Cheesy Station C. Sniff and Scurry followed their daily routine of waking up early and leaving for the station with their running shoes on. While entering the Station C, they tied their shoes around their neck so that they can quickly wear it and run. Notice the changes that happened there every day. They ate cheese till their stomach could take no more. And finally returning to their hole. Hem and Haw's routine was different though. They woke up late and walked slowly towards the cheese station. They rested for a while after entering the station. Afterwards, replaced their shoes with slippers. They ate the cheese and returning to their hole after having a full meal. They became lethargic and comforted by assuming that this humongous amount of cheese is going to last their lifetime. They thought they will have a very secure, tension-free, and fulfilling life ahead. Hem and Haw settled their life around Station C. They left their holes and started living in holes near the station. They were assured that the station belongs to them. They deserved it as they have done immense hard work in searching for it. Having Chi Yi Dezi Mankis You Happy was written on the station sea walls. Reading this made them happy. They had a hearty meal of cheese and slept well. At the end of the day, they returned to their holes assured of their future and followed the same routine. Their arrogance grew with each passing day. Change happens. One day, when Sniff and Scurry reached Station C, they found it empty. They were not at all shocked as they had noticed the volume of cheese reducing with each passing day. Rather, they were prepared for this situation. They untied their running shoes, wore them, and started their search for the next station. For them, 
The problem was simple, and so was its solution. Station C was changed, and they needed to change accordingly. A few hours later, Hem and Haw entered the station. They were shocked to see the station empty as they never noticed that the cheese was reducing with the passage of time. This change was sudden and devastating for them. Hem started shouting, What is this? How could this happen? Who moved my cheese? This is not fair. Paul was dumbfounded. He couldn't believe that the cheese was not there. He thought how such humongous volume of cheese could disappear overnight. He was not at all ready for this situation. Hem continued shouting, but Haw could not hear his words. Their reaction was apt as their treasure chest was gone. Cheese was not just food for them. It meant security and happiness. For them, cheese meant a cottage in Cheddar Lane, a loving family, and simple life. For Hem, cheese meant superiority. His dream was to manage Big Cheese and own a house at Commembert Hill. The little people kept roaming in anger in Station C and repeatedly shouted around. Pa was depressed. He had a billion questions in his mind, like how will they survive without cheese? What will they eat now? The day ended and Hem and Ha went to their holes hungry and tired. They wrote on the wall, the more important the chi chi -e is to you, the more you want to hold on to it. The next morning, they again went to Station C hoping that they might find us some cheese, but there was none. Ha suddenly remembered Sniff and Scurry and told Hem whether they knew any new station full of cheese as they were no longer coming to Station C. But Hem broke his silence only to tell him that they were smarter than the rats. Ha replied that though they were smarter than the rats, but were not acting smart at that moment. He said that things were changing around them, and they too had to change. Hem asked instantaneously that why should they? He believed that they were special people and only they deserved cheese. Haw thought that instead of overanalyzing the problem, they should take some action to get out of it, but Hem kept shouting. Hem wanted to find the root cause of the problem. While Hem and Haw were roaming around in the empty station sea, Sniff and Scurry reached the deepest corners of the maze. They had found Station N, which was full of cheese. They were delighted on finding the humongous quantities and varieties of cheeses. And anticipate and monitor changes. Hem and Haw were frustrated. Haw wanted to take action. He started visualizing himself roaming in the corridors of the maze and eating delicious cheese. He felt motivated thinking about cheese. Haw shouted, Let's go out in the maze. Hem was adamant and told he was habituated to Station C. He feared moving out of his comfort zone. Pa kept motivating Hugh by reminding him of their past adventures of roaming in the maze and they could again repeat the same adventures and find the cheese. But Hem replied that he was now too old to get out and search for the cheese. But Ha tried to motivate by saying, If we will repeat the same thing, we will never improve. With no change in his thoughts and decision, Hem suggested to wait instead in Station C. Hem understood the fact that Cheese was never going to return in Station C, and he had to find a new source. Although he knew that it was not safe out in the maze, he was excited to feel the same thrill and adventures of the maze. He knew that he could get lost in the maze, but there was also the possibility of getting new, fresh, and delicious cheese, even mozzarella and cheddar cheese. Haw disclosed his decision of going back in the maze and told Hem that some things are irreversible. And they had to move forward. He tried his best to change his friend's mind, but couldn't. He finally left Hem and started his voyage in the search of cheese. He felt alive and rejuvenated. With a smile, he wrote on the wall, If you do not change, you will become extinct. He remembered his depression-filled days and thought how he ended up in such a situation? He regretted that instead of asking, who moved my cheese? Why didn't he ask, why did not I get up and move with the change sooner? Pa took a deep breath and started walking. He was feeling weak on his knees. He was shocked at his decision for waiting this long at Station C. He was having trouble roaming in the maze, and he decided that next time, he won't wait for the cheese to finish and will start searching for the cheese sooner. Ha felt the change in his life and thought it's better to be late than never and smiled. Over the next few days, 
he found some bits and pieces of cheese laying around in the maze. He got confused with the routes multiple times, but he never gave up. Coming out of his comfort zone and searching for cheese was no less than a challenge for him. Whenever some problem arose, he kept reminding himself that this situation is much better than the cheeseless situation he was in. Instead of waiting for the cheese to appear magically, it was better to search for cheese by himself. At this moment, he felt that he is now having control of his life, and he won't let anything worse happen to him. Change. He thought to himself that if Sniff and Scurry could do it, then why not him? He realized that the cheese in Station C did not vanish overnight. Instead, he didn't notice of its diminishing volume with each passing day. Also, the taste of cheese changed with each passing day. He overlooked those changes which he could have noticed sooner. He promised himself that he would be vigilant of the changes around him and would use his basic instinct to quickly adapt to the change. He rested for a while and wrote on the wall, Smell the cheese often so you know when it's getting old. He continued his adventurous journey and reached a station bigger than Station C. He found a few pieces of cheese outside the station. Station was looking great from the outside. He went inside, but the station was empty. He got disappointed and thought of returning to Station C where he could get Hem's company. He felt that he was on the verge of giving up and started questioning himself what now. He felt that he had failed and would never be able to get new cheese. Surrounded by negative thoughts, he asked himself what he could have done if he had not feared. He realized that fear was making the situation worse and he won't give up now. He needed to continue his journey and wrote on the wall, Moving in a new direction helped you find new cheese. He laughed as his fear was gone. He was excited and had a feeling that he would be able to overcome the challenges. He asked himself, he doesn't have the cheese. He doesn't know where he is heading towards. Why is he feeling so positive and excited? He realized what was happening and wrote on the wall, when you stop being afraid, you feel good. He was heading towards a new path and had hopes for a bright future. Once again, he started thinking about eating his favorite cheese. The more he visualized, the more it felt real. He wrote on the wall, imagining yourself enjoying new cheese leads you to it. Haw started being optimistic. He thought that it was a mistake to fear the change. Indeed, change is important for making life better. He felt strong and motivated and started running. He found a cheese station where a few pieces of a new variety of never-seen-before cheese were present at the entrance. He picked one up, and it melted in his mouth. It was tastier than the ones he had before. He ate a few pieces and kept a few pieces in his pocket. He opened the door and to his surprise, it was empty. Someone must have moved the cheese. He moved ahead, hoping that he may find cheese nearby. He collected the leftover cheese scattered on the way and thought to meet him, who might have changed his mind by now. He started moving towards Station C and wrote on the wall, The quicker you let go of old cheese, the sooner you find new cheese. He met Hem at Station C and gave him cheese from his pocket. Hem felt happy on seeing the cheese, but didn't took it saying he don't like to eat any new cheese. He is only fond of old cheese they used to eat at Station C, until the time he won't get that old cheese, he won't try any new cheese. Pa felt disappointed and returned to the empty station. He was missing his friend badly, but he didn't want to stop the exciting adventures. He didn't want to miss out on the happy feeling which he had started feeling after overcoming the fear of failure. He was assured that he will get new cheese one day. He wrote on the wall, It is safer to search in the maze than to remain in a cheese-less situation and started the journey. He understood during the journey that change can't be avoided, and instead of feeling fearful and hopeless, it is better to adopt the change. He again wrote, Old beliefs do not lead you to new cheese. His behavior had changed the day his beliefs changed. He understood that either you move away from the change or face the change head-on by being optimistic. He wrote multiple lines on the wall, where you see that you can find and enjoy new cheese, you can change course. Noting small changes early helps you to adapt to the bigger changes that are to come. Enjoy the change. Hall left his past behind 
and concentrated fully on the present. He took big steps and felt stronger than ever. It felt like his journey would continue forever, but eventually he reached his destination. He reached a corridor where Station N was written. He went inside and was awestruck on seeing the enormous quantities of cheese. It had all the varieties of cheese he had dreamt of. There he saw Sniff and Scurry, who nodded their heads and waved at him. Hall waved in response and started tasting all kinds of cheese. He tied his running shoes around his neck, ran from one corner to another, shouting, Hooray for change! Haw took a big piece of cheese and raised the toast. Haw learned many things by observing Sniff and Scurry. The life of rats is very simple. They don't complicate things. When cheese was finished, they acted immediately. He missed Hem and thought of helping him out, but remembered the experience. He wanted Hem to find his way. He knew that Hem had to help himself because nobody else could help him. No one could have changed him until he wanted to change. Even if Hem could have come off his Station C, he could have seen Haw's handwriting on the walls and could have reached Station C following the notes on the walls. Haw summarized his writings and wrote them on the biggest wall of the station and Haw ate some more cheese and suddenly he heard the footsteps of someone coming towards the station. He could be Hem. All the four friends would be together again if his feelings were true. Move with the cheese and enjoy it. Notable Quotes the fear you let build up in your mind is worse than the situation that actually exists. See what you're doing wrong, laugh at it, change, and do better. The quicker you let go of old cheese, the sooner you find new cheese. Life moves on, and so should we. The more important your cheese is to you, the more you want to hold on to it. If you do not change, you can become extinct. This was released from For the Sake of Education by Flow Wisdom. If the content was helpful, make sure to subscribe.